and welcome to Toto TCG. You are here with me, Matthew, and we are back here with another Pokemon news update. So we are now moving on to Explosive Impact, and with that, we have got a new GX. Now, in this set, there are actually five GXs to go through. So if we think about this in terms of our Lost Thunder set, we know that all three of these sets, Thunderclap Spark, Fairy Rise, and Explosive Impact, are all going to be one of the biggest, it is going to be the biggest set. It is full of cards, absolutely full. That would take our grand total up to four, four, five, that is uh, 13 by my counting. Yeah, 13. So yeah, it's going to be a big, big set. 13 GXs, uh, there is one, seven prisms, so many trainers, so many Pokemon, so many brand new things which can be introduced and used very nicely. So it's going to be a very interesting one. But this GX, this GX right here took me by surprise. And my first, my first response, as you're probably already hearing, is just giggles and laughter. And just a big question of why this one? Well, what am I talking about? Well, let's have a look at this new GX. You probably recognise it straight away. Yes, it is Shuckle GX. I honestly couldn't believe it when I saw it myself. I thought, is this a joke? Is this April 1st? What's going on? But yes, we are going to be getting a Shuckle GX. I seriously can't believe this. Um, so guys, do you want to know what the what the most lowest card is going to be in this set? Probably this one. Although I might be completely surprised by this thing. There is some saving graces to it. And I mean very, very minor saving graces at that. So, of course, Shuckle GX. It is a grass Pokemon with a HP of 170. And, of course, it is a basic. So, that's ideal. 170 basic. And it's Shuckle. <laughs> yeah, Shuckle. <laughs> oh, I can't get over it. Still trying to uh, comprehend what the heck was going through their heads when they thought, Yes, guys, let's do Shuckle. Shuckle is what everyone wants. We're getting Shuckle. There's no going back now. We are getting Shuckle. Uh, now, they haven't released the Full Art and Rainbow Rare of the time of the recording. Possibly by the end of the week, we might see it. If not, I'll have to do an update video. But we don't have the Full Art and Rainbow Rare to check out, so we can just crack on and have a look at the moves and the ability. And we'll start with the ability. The ability is called Protective Pot. So what does this do? Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's Pokemon with two or less energy attached to them. So... Let's just let's just go into a bit of detail here. What do people play at the moment? People are playing Buzzwall. People are playing Rayquaza. People are playing Garbodor. People are playing Zoroark. Big stuff right there. Zoroark is normally a DCE. You do not want to be putting more energy on a Zoroark than a DCE. A DCE is two energy. That means that hello, Shuckle is stopping a Zoroark. Unless you attach another energy. Now it can stop a Buzzwall for its first attack, not the second one. Because the second one, Knuckle Impact, has three energy. That can't be stopped. But you can stop the attack for its its uh, first one, which would do 30 to you and 30 to the bench. Or if you've got Beast Energy and Deancey Prism, it's going to do a bit more. So you can prevent the damage being done to this thing, but not to the bench. That's pretty good. Um, there is like like uh, like Rayquaza. You can't really get away with because Rayquaza has three energies, so there's not a lot there. Garbodor with a Trash of Lance ability should only have one energy on it. That's going to get stopped, which is really good. So the fact that you can stop these attacks for two, plus there's a lot of cards which will be focusing very much on just two energy, and that's it. If not just one, possibly even free attackers. You never know. So this is going to be very, very interesting indeed. The, the fact that you could stop the attacks for an opponent that has two or less energy, which means two, one, or zero, basically, is pretty sweet. If it was three, it would be busted. Absolutely ridiculous. It, there's no point in printing it. So two, you are covering a nice bit of ground, especially Zoroark. Buzzwall, you can still do Knuckle Impact, which will obviously get a KO on this with a Choice Band, so that's fine. But I like the ability. I think it's it's a nice saving grace for this thing. Definitely, the, probably the best thing about this uh, this Pokemon. 
So let's move on to its first attack here for one colour. So it's called Triple Poison. Hmm, I wonder what this does. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. Put three damage counters instead of one on that Pokemon between turns. So, of course, to get out of poison, you have to retreat, you have to switch, you have to uh, Guzma, etc. Or somehow you can magically, uh, you know, heal and get rid of a special condition. Then, fair enough, that can get gone. But the fact that it's doing three damage instead of one is pretty cool. But it's not exactly like game changing. I mean, yes, you could sit there in front of your opponent who's got a load of Pokemon with just two energies on them and think, okay, yeah, I can just do three, keep it poisoned. That's all good. Stay there. Stay there. Stay poisoned. All good. You've got the, th the, the ability to stop getting attacks from two or less uh, energy, which is pretty nice. The fact that they could just Guzma this thing back out from whatever, then that's fair enough. But being able to do that and put three damage counters on... It's okay, but it's not the best thing. It's really not the best thing. And get ready for this GX. It is amazing. It is Rap GX. Again, one colorless. What does it do? 40 damage. <laughs> Your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. I will say it again. 40 damage. I really, really do not think you should be using this GX. Absolutely no way. 40 damage? Absolutely not. Okay, yes, it does do paralyzation, but you can Guzma, you can switch. It, it, really? No, absolutely not. 40 damage? No. No, 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 no. So I think, out of all 13 of the GXs that we should be getting, that this is probably going to be the lowest in price. Because having a look at all of those attacks, it is interesting, to say the least. Now, yes, you could put this thing in your deck as a bit of a tech. Maybe just a one-off. Uh, the fact that you've got the ability to stop those the attacks with two or less energy could be pretty cool. Because you could completely wipe your bench and have this thing going. Now, yes, I understand that if they do have a double colorless and maybe they have a rainbow energy or another energy and they just attach it, they do the attack, they get the KO. But the fact that they can't Guzma you out or anything like that could be a little bit of an annoyance. You could also um, have a few things helping this as well, in terms of like healing and everything. But I just really can't see this thing getting a lot of play at all. I, 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 it, it, it's funny to just think that we're getting a shuckle. That's all I'm thinking of, is just shuckle. Why are we getting a shuckle? The main thing is I want to know what the full art looks like. <laughs> Hopefully it looks really cool. Uh, I, do, I do have to say I really do like the artwork as well. Uh, I like how it's sort of almost like... I don't know if there is jumping or charging through, like, uh, a forest area. You can see, like, a tree log on the right-hand side there. Some sort of, like, shrapnel and leaves and everything. But, in terms of this thing, in a pre-release... Oh my gosh, this thing could be amazing. If you pull this during pre-release, a lot... And I mean a lot of Pokemon that are getting played during a pre-release will probably only have two or less energy on them. So that's going to be really, really nice. Something very interesting. Poison is annoying during pre-release. Paralyzation is annoying during pre-release. So this thing could excel in pre-release, but not in competitive, not whatsoever. Uh, but I have to do it. We've got to finish it off, though, first. So, of course, if it is a GX, uh, it does take two prize cards, which would be appalling. It's got a weakness to fire, which could be a little bit of a hindrance. Seeing as fire could see a bit of an increase, seeing as there's a few cards coming out which are going to definitely uh, change that. Resistance to nothing, and retreat of one, which I guess is okay, seeing as uh, the attack cost is just one. That's pretty cool. I like it. Right, so let's have a little look at what works, or what could work with this thing. So... We've got Zoroark, got to throw Zoroark in there. You've got the trade ability, you can trade around. Now, of, co of course, I have mentioned this as a tech. I really would not focus this around a deck of having four Shuckle. No, 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 no. Tech, it, it, it must be a tech card. It has to be. Uh, you can't be playing this seriously uh, if you have four of them. But Zoroark GX, you do have trade, and of course, you do have a nice attack there, especially if you are setting up with those poisons, you're putting 30 damage on. Maybe you use the GX and put 40 in a paralyzation. You bring up Zoroark. Zoroark can do a bit more damage, possibly get a knockout. There is that. So Zoroark could be an interesting one to put with it. 
Theramosa, a very uh, low down attacker. Pretty good during uh, first turn and pretty good late game as well with the Beauty GX. Very, very good. Apart from that, probably not. Uh, we got Gardenia as well. Like I said, there's a few things to help with this thing, to heal it, etc. Gardenia heals 80 damage from a Pokemon that has a Grass Energy. Now, of course, it did have Colorless Energy. So you could put it in any deck you wanted, really. It doesn't have to be in a Grass deck. So there is that, which is pretty nice. Uh, we got Aether Paradise Conservation Area. That could be a nice one. It is a basic a Grass one and it takes 30 less damage. So there is that. That's something pretty uh, nice to think about. Uh, I've got to talk about this. Netball, which would have uh, came out in Fairy Rise. That allows you to search for either a basic grass or a uh, basic grass Pokemon, which is pretty nice. Or at least a grass Pokemon, I think. Uh, but I love that card so much. Netball. Oh, I can't wait for it. And it's a secret rare, guys. Oh, uh, it's going to be good. So that's that. That would be interesting to try and get the Shuckle into play. Maybe you want it for late game. Maybe you just want it for a tech on the bench. It is an easy KO, remember that, Guzma, and you could probably easily get that KO'd easy. Uh, another one here is the Life Forest, uh, the Prism Star. Again, that allows you to heal your Grass Pokemon uh, for 60, and also you get rid of one status condition, which could happen, might not. Um, and then finishing it off, we've got to just uh, put these two in because they will be hopefully coming out with this thing. We've got Verizian GX, which isn't probably the best grass, and Sceptile GX, which I am definitely looking forward to. Going to be an interesting one. I want to try and uh, have a little go with that. Bit of Netball, bit of Sceptile, maybe throw a bit of Zoroark in there, who knows. Bit of Leafeon maybe, just to get that evolution going pretty quickly, maybe turn one. That would be pretty not pretty nice. Who knows? I might just throw a bit of a lol and just like you know throw the uh, shuckle in there and be like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah I can see you playing Zoroark. <laughs> shuckle, how you doing? So yeah, it could be it, it it could be interesting, but as a tech, I'm definitely putting out there as a tech. If some mad person wants to put it in their deck, i.e. myself, then go for it. But it's definitely not going to win anything. Uh, <laughs> definitely not. But yeah, um, I mean, that's the stuff that I can think of that it could work well with. Um, you know, there's several things there which can help it, heal it, go into a deck with it. Just maybe a one-off, maybe two if you're lucky. Probably just one. But, uh, yeah, like I said, it's going to be an interesting one. I want to see what people's thoughts are uh, of it in the comments below. That'd be really interesting to find out. But let's finish this off, of course, with the Guess the GX. The answer from yesterday when we checked out the full set for Fairy Rise. So I gave you that picture right there. What was that? Well, it was, of course, Lycan Rock GX, the Midnight form. Still waiting for the uh, the Dusk form. That uh, that GX would be uh, very much appreciated. We've had, of course, uh, Midnight, Midday. We're just waiting for Dusk. We've had a Dusk card, which I guess is fair enough. But I still want to see another GX for Lycan Rock. It'd be pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, very cool. And then let's have a look at the Guess the GX for today's one. So we have that picture there, that one there, and that one there. And yes, it is a GX. It's just very much zoomed in. You'll kick yourself if you can't find out what this win is. But there we go. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on what the GX is, as well as Shuckle GX. Do you think it's any good? Do you think I'm correct about it being a tech? Could it actually be a deck? Convince me. Honestly, convince me. Um... <laughs> But yeah, there we go. Apart from that, I will uh, leave it here for this video. If you're new to the channel, then definitely hit that subscribe button below. We're going through all of Explosive Impact this week. Uh, we've got Dragon Majesty coming out next week, which I can't wait for, because that's going to be really, really interesting. But yeah, apart from that, I'm going to leave it here for this video, and I will see you guys in the next video on the channel.